surprisingly, 2020 is almost over. So I have made a list of a couple of a couple of things that I want to try to accomplish in 2021. Okay, so my reading resolutions for 2021 are kind of all over the place. So if this video is somewhat confusing, I'm sorry. I, I probably made this list while sleep deprived. So if you're wondering, that would be why it ends up being so weird. Okay, one of my goals for now and next year is to work on my physical TBR. I, like a lot of people, have bought a lot more books than I think I meant to this year. It kind of just happened and it was quite gratifying at the moment, but now I have a lot of books that I think could be read. I would say this almost this entire shelf and it does go too deep. I don't know if you could see that, but it goes back pretty far and I want to get through these. I started book of the month, I believe this year, if not last year, and I have a lot of those that I want to read and just extra books on my shelf that I haven't read yet. I want to work on, I want to work on those. So that's one of my goals is kind of parsing down my physical TBR. So another one that has less to do with my physical TBR, more of a electronic TBR, I guess. I have a problem with not reading my library loans in time and then having to put them on another hold and then wait and then finish them later or not finish them later and keep adding the hold. So it takes me months sometimes to be able to finish a book. I, I don't want to do that anymore and I think that will kind of lead me into reworking the way that I use my Overdrive and my Libby app because and I have the same problem with NetGalley where I'll just go and click things. <laughs> and then end up with more than I bargained for, I think. At least on the, on both sides, I would say. Where all of my holds come in at the same time, or I have like 10 books on hold, or 10 books on loan that I don't have time to finish, or for NetGalley where I'll go and request a bunch of books. If I even get half of them, it adds to the amount of things that I haven't read through, so yeah, I would say those kind of go hand in hand since they are more for electronic TBR than physical TBR for my ebooks and audiobooks and stuff like that. So that's what I want to work on. I want to kind of fix that up just a little bit. As far as my book goals, I want to read 100. I'm going to put that and that'll be my goal to work for. And then following up on that one, I don't want to use Goodreads as much. I want to try to use it less. So I'm going to keep up with my own stats in a Google Doc that I can't remember who made it, but I believe I got it from Morgan. I'll try to find the actual person and link the Google Doc down below. I probably in the summertime, I wanted to do this. So I added my books from January, but that was one month and there were at that point at least five more to go and I didn't have the patience to type them all in but I want to try to keep up with that in 2021 and just kind of move myself away from Goodreads. I know it is a pretty good um like networking somewhat social media tool but so maybe I'll mark books down there but I want to keep track of them in like a secondary thing where I can keep more details about it. Yeah, I don't know. That's just kind of one of the things that I've been thinking about, a goal that I have. I don't know. I know there was an app. I can't think of what it was called. I never used it. I think it was in beta for a while and people kind of got into it. I never did. But that one was another Goodreads type book tracker app thing that I never got into and I haven't heard about it in a while. So I don't know how that's going. Oh, this one is just kind of like a wish. I want to be able to go back to the library. We'll see. We'll see. I live in Texas outside of Houston. So not in the city, but definitely outside of the city. Um, I don't know what lockdown stages we're going back to, but I do miss the library. And my last couple of goals that I noted down was to ins use my Instagram more. I have posted 
three things. Even after making this list, I never posted anything, which is super funny for in, in my mind. Um, I'll link it down below if you're interested in following me. I will very rarely post things, but it's fun. I like to look at stuff. I really like Instagram. That is probably my social media of choice is Instagram. I really like watching people's stories. I don't watch anyone's Snapchat stories, but I will watch Instagram stories. And then I also want to bullet journal more. I It's in my desk, <laughs> but I have not touched it probably since last year. So I want to maybe track things more in there, just journal itself more. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of potential, potential good and bad for 2021. So I'm going to try to set goals for myself that I can follow no matter what happens. But yeah, those are some of my goals for 2021. If you have any, I would love to hear it down below. If you want to let me know in a comment or if you want to tweet me, all the fun stuff is going to be linked down there, probably. Um, I keep forgetting to do that. So that's what I have for today. This was like a short, pretty easy video, uh, but I would love to hear your thoughts or your plans. So just let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!